I represent OpenReach, which is BT's fixed line uh, access business. So we're the proud custodians of the 20 odd million uh, lines and accesses uh, for the UK as a whole. OpenReach is a relatively young business, uh, having been formed in 2006 with the mandate to uh, underpin the UK communication provider for broadband services based upon the LLU model. We're now creating what will be the next generation access network uh, for the UK as a whole uh, using the right kind of uh, Ethernet presented technology. We've created a mixed economy model uh, based upon uh, a common Ethernet presentation of our service to communication providers. And that allows us to deploy fibre to cabinet based upon VDSL and it allows us to deploy fibre to premise based upon GPON technology and to deliver those services with a standardised presentation uh, at a head end to our communication provider customers. I think vectoring is a very, very interesting and important technology. What we are seeing right now is that vectoring uh, does offer the potential to uh, support us in operating lines close to the no noise limit for VDSL. That will improve speeds in many cases. It will improve the predictability uh, of speed and the reliability of service that, uh, that we've delivered. We see vectoring uh, as something which in time will enable us to sustain our speeds as the take up on cabinets and cables grows and we see vectoring in time as offering us the uh, opportunity to offer some enhanced speeds. I think GDOT Fast is uh, quite an interesting uh, technology and opportunity. Yes, it's, uh, it's a copper technology. It's a copper technology which runs on much shorter loops and because it runs on much shorter loops it can offer some uh, very impressive uh, speed uplift, you know, half a gig uh, to uh, one gig or perhaps beyond. I see it as something which has the potential at some time in the future to support much higher speeds and speeds which are quite complementary to our fibre to premise type uh, uh, op options right now. 10G PON is, is, is quite interesting. We built in the WDM devices in our uh, head end locations such that we could make sure that the passive optical network infrastructure we were deploying was properly future proof, i.e., beyond the two and a half gigabit GPON system to the 10 gigabit uh, 10 GPON system. We think that that will provide uh, our customers, the communication providers, with a solid foundation for significant innovation for many years to come.